Tonight we have more now from another woman accusing Governor Cuomo of inappropriate behavior. Anna Liss was a Cuomo policy and operations aide for two years, and now she works for Monroe County. She says that she's, quote, not claiming sexual harassment per se, but says the toxic work environment was not a safe space for women. The 35-year-old sat down with CBS Rochester reporter Adam Chodak to share her experience. We're celebrating four consecutive on-time budgets, and he approached me and uh, hugged me, kissed me on the cheek, put his hand around my waist, and we took that picture together. And at the time, I was, I thought that was wonderful, and everybody was talking about it, and, oh, the governor likes you, and he thinks you're cute. Um, and years have passed, and I realize now that... Um, I wish that the environment were a little bit different for young women. Were there any other incidents in which there was a more personal interaction like that? For me, there was one occasion that I was asked if I had a boyfriend by the governor, but um, in those interactions at the time I thought were harmless flirtations, and that's just how he is. What really did me in, I think, in state government working for the governor's office was just the broader workplace environment. It was toxic, retaliatory, hostile, there was screaming, there, were, there was name calling, um, there was a sense of fear in the air that you could do or say the wrong thing at any moment, lose your job. I felt like I just couldn't survive in that environment anymore. I had also read that at one point he kissed your hand. Was that when he had asked you if you had a boyfriend? That was one of the multiple times that he approached me. I'd be sitting at my desk like this and he would come through the door and he would talk to one of the secretaries and then he would come over to me and be like, how are you doing today? Did his actions make you feel uncomfortable at the time? His actions made me feel really nervous. Like he sees me now. Now what? Why come out now and talk about that? When Lindsay Boylan first said something in December, I think she tweeted. Um, I remember thinking, wow, that's dangerous. Good luck to you. I would never open my mouth. Like, they're going to crush you like a bug. I talked to her, and that made me feel seen a little bit. I've been living with my story for so many years and glossing over it and hiding it and swallowing it down, pretending like everything was fine, when it really wasn't. I'm not coming out and saying that I was propositioned or that I was asked to play strip poker. I'm just saying that I was a young, vulnerable woman in what felt like a cesspit of toxicity. And I get that that's par for the course in political environments, but I don't think it should be par for the course. You do have a picture of Governor yeah. Cuomo up. Yes. Why is that? I have assigned it a great deal of value. It's, it's a piece of evidence that I worked there and that he saw me and I was part of his team. But on the flip side, it's visible evidence you know, his hands on my waist. He elevates women in his administration, but that doesn't excuse the patronizing behavior towards younger women. I think to succeed with as a young woman in Andrew's administration, you've got to be you've got to be the kind of woman that cuts other women down. What would you like to see Governor Cuomo do with all of this out there? I don't know that he can change the culture overnight. Um, I do believe that he has done a lot of good for upstate New York. I believe that he cultivated that power intentionally because he knows that's really the only way you can get things done in New York State, big things done. You have to grab the power and run with it. But with that comes megalomania. When you feel powerful, you feel like you're unimpeachable. And so I decided that I would come forward because um, I wanted to support their stories and I wanted to make other women who experienced the same and similar things uh, empower them to feel like they can talk, that they're not going to be uh, maligned in the public eye. 
And when asked if she thinks the governor should resign, she says that she doesn't know if she has that answer. Governor Cuomo has stated he will not step down, calling on the public to let the attorney general complete an investigation.